Dear world. How does movement restriction? Uncertainty and danger feel. Sincerely yours. Palestine. Palestine. Today, the life of almost every person on this planet is affected by the global crisis caused by the coronavirus pandemic. People around the world are dealing with unprecedented circumstances that are conquering our souls with depression and filling our hearts with fear. But for us in Palestine, that's not new. We have been dealing with similar adversities way long before the pandemic except that they weren't caused by a virus, but by members of the same species. So having along an ongoing experience with surviving suffering and misfortune, we believe it's our moral duty to share tips and comfort with all of whom are suffering today. Hello world. 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 We understand that you're afraid. That you feel that you have no control over your circumstances. We know that this crisis is unfamiliar. That it has taken our lives to a place that is anything but normal. It's scary and stressful. When in pain, we tend to feel like we're suffering alone. But we want to tell you that you are not alone, and there is always hope. This global crisis has exposed our commonality. It erased our delusions about our separation. We are all suffering. Our pain is universal. And every heart of man knows what fear is. It's ironic that what finally connected us together was fear after all. But, there's another element that is universal. And that every heart of man knows. That is resilience. We seem that we have forgotten this quality of ours. Resilience is what gives our hearts the strength. That enables us to endure pain. That gives us the way to find beauty amidst the darkest nights. And the courage in the toughest situations. That's how we Palestinians survived long decades of uncertainty. Restriction and constant fear. We survived by realizing that the deeper the suffering, the more we need to get closer together. The more painful and dangerous situation became. The more we saw a wider view of life. The more fearful we felt. The more we developed courage to face it. We believe that if humanity chooses this attitude, it can transcend its wretchedness. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Stay safe. Today, all humanity is united against a common threat and working towards a common goal. Today we are battling a virus, but tomorrow the fight for a better future for humanity must continue. We must be assured that we humans can make it, and we will, only if we stand our ground and do not abandon the fight. Humanity can change its fate, can eliminate unnecessary suffering, and can build a better future for all. Only if we just start to believe in ourselves more. When we have faith in ourselves and each other, this faith will guide our fight against all odds. After this crisis ends, we cannot go back to what was, because the world is changing, and it needs us to be there to welcome that change. And this requires us to muster up courage rebuild resilience and reclaim our power and now is the time to start because we have a new message to read dear humanity 
I know how painful movement restriction, uncertainty, and danger feels. But the choice is yours to face the predicament. Will you stand together for my sake? Sincerely yours, The War.